Well, police arrested a man after a really violent rampage during rush hour right in the middle of highway in Dallas. This is crazy. Eyewitness video shows the terrifying scene, and Shannon is here with a look at that video and what we know about the man in custody. Shannon. Yeah, we're learning more this morning, too, Brandon Lauren. The 26-year-old suspect is facing 10 criminal charges after Dallas police say he stabbed one man and hit two others with their own vehicles. Take a look. We just received his mugshot, Angel Zamora Moreno of Plano, facing seven counts of aggravated assault, two counts of unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, one count of criminal mischief. Tuesday morning, police say that 26-year-old suspect caused a multi-vehicle crash and started fighting one of the other drivers. Drivers. A third driver tried to intervene, but police say Moreno also stabbed that person. The traffic came to a standstill in the westbound lanes of 635 near Forest Lane. You probably recall Chip talking about that yesterday. Samir Sethi says multiple cars pulled over, and that's when Moreno became even more violent, pushing people and bashing in windows, even hopping on a dark-colored vehicle right next to Sethi basically carjacked the car behind it and uh, the lady before you know he gets to the door pretty much speeds off and he rolls off the car and you know this is when I was able to pull out my phone and you know get a recording of him kind of sliding off the car. The Dallas police say Moreno carjacked and hit two people with their own vehicles, including a TxDOT employee. Cell phone video shared to the Dallas, Texas TV Instagram page shows the TxDOT driver running to safety. A different video shows a woman running as the suspect appears to chase her in a car. We know, now know that woman had pulled over to render medical aid. She was hit as well. A group of people were finally able to hold Moreno down until Dallas police arrived. He was taken to the hospital for evaluation and then brought to the jail. At last check, the man who was stabbed was in the hospital in critical condition. Brandon. Yeah, wow. we had we had heard this craziness going on. We just weren't sure what was happening at the time uh, at the end of Good Day yesterday. So and we started getting that video in and we were saying, you got to be kidding me. What is happening? Yeah.